Hello guys, in this video we are going to deal example number one. It says that prove that in two concentric circles the chord of larger circle which touches the smaller circle is bisected at the point of contact. Here this is the chord of larger circle. Let's consider larger circle as a C2 and smaller circle as a C1. And here this is a chord and this is bisected over here. And here we have to prove AC is equal to BC. So this is what we have to prove. Again here if you join this point and this point like this and here also this. So OB is the radius of larger circle. Let us consider as R2 and this is also R2 that is AO and here CO is a smaller circle radius that is R1 and here we have to find out AC and CB. So we can prove this AC is equal to BC by using Pythagoras theorem. Here we got two triangles that is triangle AOC, AOC and another one is triangle COB, COB. Here this chord of second circle touching first circle at only one point. Nothing but this chord became tangent to circle number one and here this is the radius and this is the tangent and this angle will be 90 degrees and this side also it is 90 degrees. This triangle has 90 degrees as the angle over here nothing but this is a right angle triangle and this is also a right angle triangle. So here we can use Pythagoras theorem. So based on Pythagoras theorem we can write AO square that is hypotenuse is equal to AC square plus CO square. But here we have to find out the AC value. For that we can write AC square is equal to AO square minus CO square. So we can write AC is equal to AO nothing but it's a radius of bigger circle that is R2 square minus CO nothing but a smaller circle radius that is R1 square. So let us consider this as the equation number 1 and again coming to the second triangle that is COB in that we can write that BO square is equal to CO square plus BC square. So here we have to find out BC for that we can write BC square is equal to PO square minus CO square. Here we will get BC is equal to BO nothing but the capital the larger circle radius that is R2 square minus R1 square. Let us consider this as the equation number 2. Here if you observe equation number 1 and equation number 2 both are equal. So based on this equation we can conclude that AC is equal to tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning